It's the Troy Murphy Show here on 2SR FM 99.7. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what nationality was Jesus? A simple question that has been argued extensively over time. And I know I normally don't dabble in religion here on the Troy Murphy Show. However, this week I will. I bring up Jesus and his nationality because contrary to popular belief and that being the belief that Jesus was or is Jewish, after briefly skimming through the Bible, I believe that he isn't a Jew, and actually a different nationality altogether. There will be outcry, there will be drama, there will be outrage caused by this here opinion piece. And I'm not sure, the, the, and I'm sure that the religious zealots, or as I like to call them, the religious nutjobs out there, will call for my immediate dismissal and sacking from this radio show. To which I would like to point out, one cannot sack Troy Murphy of the Troy Murphy Show. You simply cannot sack the star of the show, especially if the show is named after the star. It's not like you can get a Rick Davis or a Will Austin to star on the Troy Murphy Show, because that just wouldn't make sense. Will Austin, the star of the Troy Murphy Show? Ha! <laughs> I've got more talent in my pinky finger than he will ever have in his whole career. Hence, why I have the car spot, and I have the show named after myself. I digress. Yes, the complainers. Just sit back and relax and wait a minute or two before you send off that email of complaint, as I tell you why I don't think Jesus was a Jew, and in fact, I believe... He was actually Australian. Gasp! Horror! Shock! Holy crap, I think I just heard the Pope in the Vatican choke on his holy water. But of course, one cannot simply just throw an allegation like that around without the evidence. So, that's why, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you that evidence. There is enough evidence in the Bible to prove that Jesus is actually an Australian and not Jewish. I kid you not. Let me begin. Jesus was a carpenter. A tradie. Yep, most certainly an Aussie kind of job. Jesus had the job of an Aussie. You can just picture it, walking, him walking around, a, a tradie with his untamed beard, wearing a navy blue Bond's wife beater. After all, it was rumoured he hooked up with that lady of the night, Mary Magdalene, who sounds a lot like she's related to that Sheila of uh, Neighbours, with a similar sounding last name, probably related. <laughs> I don't think I'm clutching at straws on that one. <laughs> or, okay, probably I haven't started off uh, with the strongest evidence proving that Jesus was an Aussie. But this next one will most certainly change your mind. Now, before I mention Jesus walking around. And what was he walking around in? Oh yeah, that's right. Thongs. Jesus walked around in thongs. How Australian is that? Every Australian man owns a pair of thongs. It's un-Australian not to own a pair of thongs. And Jesus always got around in a pair of thongs. This should be evidence enough, but I will go on. I have more evidence, that is. Jesus <laughs> was a drinker. Yep, Jesus liked a good old outdoor party with all his mates in the backyard or someone else's backyard, and he liked to have a drink. In fact, Jesus was so Australian, when he went to these backyard parties, he would even supply everyone with the booze. The perfect mate who bought the booze to the party and wasn't afraid to share it with everyone. How Australian is that? And what makes Jesus even more Australian is that he didn't brag about how much alcohol he bought or how much he spent on the alcohol. He just waved it off and pretended to turn water into wine with his great party trick. So people thought the wine was actually some magic trick, a great magic trick, instead of the dozens of cases he bought to the party to share with his mates. True blue Aussie! that Jesus, but it doesn't stop there. A good old-fashioned Australian tradition that Jesus also liked to take part in, that all Australian blokes enjoyed doing, again proving that Jesus was an Australian and not a tight-pursed Jew. Should have mentioned that tight-pursed Jew reference when I mentioned Jesus buying all the 
alcohol for his mates. I digress. Back to that pastime which is so ochre, it's Australian. I do it, my dad does it, my grandpa is an expert at it, we all do it together. Such an Australian thing to do, which is why this last bit of evidence is the icing on the cake proving that Jesus is in fact Australian. And that, my al alcohol party loving, thong wearing, tradey friends, is the Australian pastime known as fishing. Yep. Jesus liked a good old fish. In fact, Jesus was such the fishing master that while out at these parties, where he had all the booze for everyone, he'd take his rod down to the water and do a spot of fishing. Not just a spot of fishing, but enough fishing to feed all his mates at the party too. He'd even cook it and give bits to everyone too when he handed out the booze. Now that's an Aussie mate we all want to come along to our backyard parties. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I rest my case. Jesus was not a Jew. Jesus was Australian. Time to rewrite the Bible, people. Fix up that typo and republish it all around the world. You know, because it wouldn't be the first time that someone's made an edit to the book. Hmm. Case closed.